The we want to hit you hard on the props at the end. Doug, are you thinking this is more of a spread week or points? Where are you sitting? I, I mean, I would take the Patriots by two. If the line is two, if you can find two, if you go on skybook.com or <laughs> go there now, skybook, go right now and get that too, because I do think the Patriots are going to win this game. And what comes down to for me, just to simplify it as much as possible, is that I believe the Kansas City Chiefs are better than the Los Angeles Rams. Patriots Fair. went to Kansas City on the road, hostile environment, and beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Right. This is a neutral field. It's going to be filled to the brim with Patriots fans. Yeah, that's going to be the fun part. No offense to Rams fans, but you guys don't really exist out yes. there. So or it's anywhere. going to. I haven't seen many this week. It's going to. Feel Feel like a home game and as we've been out here today there have been some fans out here i haven't i think i saw one marshall falk jersey from when, when he was with the rams all the other ones have been patriots jerseys so if you can get the patriots by two in this game then uh, yeah i take that i'd yeah. take patriots by two patriots by two and a half patriots by three yeah. i think i think this is going to be a close close-ish game as as every patriots super bowl kind of is yeah. but i've got the sort of the same sentiment that we had going in last week to kansas city i thought the patriots would win that game by by four to five points i'm, yeah. I'm seeing kind of the same range uh, for this game so i'm taking the patriots yeah so folks we've done this each week I, if, if i really felt I was steering the wrong way with the points thing, we or uh, with the spread thing. I'd send you to the points. This is a week where uh, the point total worries me a little bit. When you start talking, the Patriots have had sort of an up and down. They've had some monster games, but sometimes when they go head to head with a team like this, well, they want to slow the game. And if both teams want to slow the game because they're scared of one another, all of a sudden you end up with like a 28-24. And 28-24 is going to make you lose money today. And we don't want to do that. So it's also a game that it could be like Philly a year ago or even the Chiefs last week and you blow up and you're into the 60s and 70s. So since it's such of a coin flip for me on game style, I'm sending you right to where these guys went. I think that two and a half is something to jump all over. Take it at two, take it at two and a half, take it even at three. I would be safe even up to four Half. I think five's the number you'd stay away and go go play the points instead. But I feel pretty comfortable the Patriots sit in a nice spot today. It will be a less than one score kind of game, but over the field goal, yeah, you know, you're safe. You're gonna win on that this week. But here's where we really wanted to get you different, and we wanted to dive into the props a little bit, folks. And these are these are plays I'm gonna play as well, so you can take them, know that I'm taking them. There's a litany of these things. There's a plethora of different choices you can take, and some of them are sucker bets. Some of them I do not believe are. I'm going to go in here personally, and you guys can follow me on the graphic on your screen. New England to score in every quarter. I go yes with that. Looking at recent history, looking at the game they've been best. May not be a seven, maybe some field goals, right. but they're a clock control team that generally ends their drive with something because of play style. I believe that's a safe bet. Yes on the Patriots to score in every quarter. Total punts, I'm going under on seven. And five. Now, that was going back to like a four-week review, a review on both Hecker and Allen, also trying to find these games where it's two big-time offenses versus one another. Yep. The, real, the idea of getting four punts out of both of those guys and that game style almost never happens. One of them may have four punts. The other guy's going to have two or three. One of them more likely is going to have just two. So this is a game with a seven-and-a-half punts thing. I think you're a safe under there. Total field goals. Going over three and a half. That two means great kickers. two oh. great kickers and two guys that both teams are comfortable in ending and drive, even with an over 45 kick. I think that helps you to get over the three five. You just need to have both of the kickers kick two balls yeah. and make them. And I think that's a pretty uh, pretty safe bet there. Gurley, and I'm going to do a pro Rams bet here. They're not all this way, but I'm going to go an over on the 32 and a half recept, uh, receiving yards for Todd Gurley. I think he does that's, get that's back two on catches. Yeah, that's, I think yeah. he gets back on track and I think much like a week ago with the Williams thing, all it takes is one broken right. play, one broken play that you regret that you have yeah. and you hit on that number. So I think Gurley gets back on track as a receiver, hopefully doesn't ruin the game but ends over the 32 and a half receiving yards. Brady over 282 yards of passing. Here's my, my philosophy on that, is you're gonna have to go really far back into Patriots history, you know, more than 10 to 15 years, to get to the game style where Tom's not gonna throw it over 250 yards. This is a 280 number, and the moments where it gets tight, they go spread, the yards kinda come, therein lies the waterfall. I think Tom Brady at over 282 was a very safe prop this week. Gronk over three and a half catches. Just need that fourth ball, guys. And both of you, game. you buy you guys both hammered on that. The reason I think the Gronk over three and a half hits this week is because Edelman has been killing everyone. Right. And I think Wade is gonna do Wade Phillips is gonna do something to try to account for that. When you try to give a little extra attention to the inside receiver running crossing routes, the tight end opens up four ball week or more for Gronk. And finally, James White. At over 45 and a half receiving yards, yeah, folks. This one's ridiculous. It's almost like the bunny that you're like, what do y'all know that we don't know? <laughs> yeah. Because that feels like a layup. And you ever you ever go down a prop sheet in these Super Bowls, there's a hundred bets. There's one that you can really circle and find and say everyone should be on that. Everyone should be on white over 44, 45 and a half yards. That is all for me, folks. I saw Rob Ryan today. Yeah. We all really got to did, see yeah. Robbo, my old position coach. That's a great sign. Great suit, Jack. Maybe yeah. Patriots by hundred. I'll have to change that bet. <laughs>